This is a brand new Bentley Flying Spur W12 from Kyosho. Hello everybody, welcome to External Star Channel. Today I will be unboxing and reviewing this beautiful Bentley Flying Spur uh, made by Kyosho, which you can also see here, uh, together with the official webpage of the manufacturer. And here, uh, that's exactly the 118 Bentley Flying Spur W12 in white color. And maybe you are wondering why uh, white color? Because typically I'm only collecting black color. The reason is that this one was now discounted to uh, almost one third of the original price, uh, which means uh, I bought it quite cheap and uh, I decided to really have it. Uh, at least for my review, maybe I will then keep it if this is a beautiful one. So let me first take it out of the box. Okay. And actually, uh, you can see here already uh, some features. So you can open the bonnet, you can open the trunk, and maybe also the doors. There are some additional features. You can open the doors. Of course, everything can be opened because this is Kyosho, it's not resin. This is a high quality die cast. Yeah, so a nice paper here. Thank you for this paper, Kyosho. And now uh, let's go directly to the box. So unboxing will not take a long time because they use this nice uh, paper instead of a thin foil. Yeah, sometimes they also use tape, like here there is a tape, but I don't like it. It's much better with this paper. And I can see also two paper towels, so let me just remove them and put them here to the box. And wow, I can already see the car, so you can. And let me just take it off. Okay. Nice. Okay, so there is also one additional towel, uh, probably for cleaning. And there is also this door opening tool. Uh, but I will not use this this time. Okay, so this is quite nice maybe to to a little bit uh, polish uh, the paint. All right. So let's now do the review and maybe before I really start, uh, I want to mention the first thing that uh, somehow drew my attention and it's here uh, this quite big gap uh, it's maybe more than one millimeter uh, between the bonnet and uh, the front face yeah you can see it also maybe here uh, I'm used to have all black cars and uh, all the gaps are not that visible but when you have a white car then it will be so much more visible so that's also a big difference so Anytime you uh, buy a white one, for example here, you can see the gap is minimal, everywhere minimal, minimal here, and this is how you recognize the quality, and it's a little bit bigger here. But let's start maybe from the beginning like I always do, so um, that's the front of the car, the front grille. It's quite beautifully done here, but unfortunately it is not perforated, uh, so that's one let's say disadvantage of this Kyosho car then the license plate only say says Bentley okay that's also not enough yeah there are so many different Bentleys and I don't know just by reading the license plate I don't know which Bentley it actually is I would need to go uh, maybe here to see that this is the flying spur W12 okay um, but in the end, I also prefer when there is a real license plate uh, with all the details, not just uh, Bentley. <laughs> okay, uh, maybe next time, Kyosho, when you produce a high quality car, this is something to think about. Yeah, Flying Spur would be a little bit better. And then we have this emblem or logo of Bentley, which uh, in my opinion, uh, could be a little bit less plastic, yeah, a bit more flat, but anyway. And then we have the headlights, and they are quite nicely done. I mean, um, they are 
quite transparent and there is some nice depth into it and overall they look quite realistic. And then we have additional air intakes here, also not perforated, so don't expect uh, miracles when you buy this one. And then have the parking sensors here and here. Yeah, so those details are not missing. When we see it from the side, uh, I mean, those wheels I, are quite beautiful. Uh, the Bentley, Bentley logo inside and otherwise they are reflective and you can also turn the wheels, uh, spin the wheels, uh, whatever you want to do with the wheels. But what is not so visible, uh, but it's still there, is the brake caliper. It says Bentley on it, yeah, so when I uh, turn it slowly, B-E-N-T-L-E-Y, so yeah, it's really Bentley on it, <laughs> if you don't trust me. And there's also uh, the brake disc. Okay, and here uh, another small feature, this is the another Bentley ornament or, uh, yeah, I don't know how exactly to call this one if it has a specific name, it's just the Bentley logo, uh, the big B and it's flying, yeah, like the flying spur or is it, is it actually the spur? I don't know. And then, as I already mentioned, there are not so many gaps here uh, between the doors and the chassis. And what I also like is this beautiful uh, chrome decoration all around the car. Yeah, we will open it later. Uh, the door handles, uh, as you can see, there is already some scratch here. Uh, you can see this dot. Yeah, so it's not really precise. This is brand new. It was never opened before, but already some mistakes like this one here. I don't know if I will fix it with some color, white color or what exactly I will do. And then, yeah, here uh, the rear wheels, also beautiful. And actually when I see only here this part, like from here until here, it reminds me of the Volkswagen Phaeton so much. Um, it actually has, I think, the same engine, this W12, like the Volkswagen Phaeton, uh, six zero liters. And uh, those two cars uh, share a lot of technology indeed. Uh, another parking sensor is here, a Bentley license plate and another logo or emblem uh, here. And I think they used actually the same piece, like here in the front, yeah, I don't see any, any difference. And here uh, in the back. And then we have also the rear lights. They are not so bad, yeah, quite beautiful. There's a little bit of dust, some dust particles in there, but overall quite nice. Yeah, maybe here the paint, the paint has some dots. It's not perfect here uh, at this place. Again, maybe it's because it's white. Um, more uh, imperfections are then visible. So uh, you should really think about having a white car in your collection because when it's not perfect, you would be quite disappointed. And there are some places which I will need to fix. Then the gas door, which cannot be opened, but at least is uh, is visible. So it's it's here. And then we have also nice exhausts. Yeah. So something quite nice here. Uh, color is chrome, and actually, uh, you can see all the pipes here. The exhausts are leading all the way out here. So there are two of them. And in the middle, there is this plastic part here. And uh, I don't know what exactly is this gray part. Is If this is just a decor or I don't know. And actually what I'm missing here is the third parking brake uh, or the braking light. It's typically it should be here or here, but I don't see it on this car. And I think it's, it's a mandatory feature, so I don't know why Bentley was not putting it there, okay? Maybe somebody can explain me in the comments why this Bentley doesn't have it. Okay, so overall, very nice. And let me also maybe check the mirrors. Uh, and they are also reflective, yeah, so quite nicely done. Uh, it's probably just a sticker. It's a little bit dirty or I don't know. It's not really perfect, but what you can see is all around the mirror. Yeah, the the paint 
uh, around the mirror it's not really perfect not really polished and I don't know I don't know yeah but I really care about those details and this side mirror is not perfect at all <laughs> Cool, so that's uh, actually the exterior uh, and I will of course rate it uh, at the end of the video. And now uh, there is a small dot to already open the hood and I will I will now press it. It will pop up a little bit and I now, now I will have a chance to really open, open it and see the engine. So what we can see here uh, actually is the Bentley W12 uh, twin turbo probably yeah it says something like that and uh, you can see the gray and the black color uh, there is also a very nice uh, sticker here uh, with all the information uh, like on the real car I only think that here this thick part is not really on the original uh, piece yeah one-to-one uh, -one piece so uh, they just uh, put it here because uh, it's a simple way how to how to connect it but maybe some other manufacturers like auto art or even yeah almost real would probably do it a little bit differently um, and what I also like that here uh, there is this uh, black cover and uh, this is quite nice here unfortunately again this is not perforated and I think it even shouldn't be but just to show you all the details okay so that's that's the engine and let me also show you the interior okay I will use door handles one two Let's start in the back, it's closer. And you can see that on the uh, rear seats there is also something like uh, seat controls. Yeah, so all the, all the controls are here. And uh, when we look inside, maybe the doors. Um, I don't like this imitation of wood so much because it looks more like uh, leather from a tiger uh, more than wood. Yeah. And I don't like it so much, especially this combination of uh, dark blue uh, leather and this kind of wood. Yeah, so if wood, then not this kind of wood. <laughs> uh, we can also see the big uh, loudspeaker and um, door handle, and also uh, the window control. Quite nicely done, I would say. I only don't like the combination of the colors, but that's my like personal opinion you can also see the uh, Bentley uh, screen uh, on the seats and that's basically it there is also um, uh, soft uh, carpeting uh, all around so that's also very beautiful okay so now let's go uh, to the front the door uh, is exactly the same like in the back so all the features as I already described but when you see inside uh, I actually like it very much because you can see uh, also that there is navigation uh, navigation screen maybe let me just focus on that a little bit okay maybe now it's visible visible a little bit better um, there is a navigation screen in the middle and also this transmission automatic transmission uh, you can see the steering wheel and all the clocks gouges and also the middle clock yeah, so there is a middle clock between the uh, air conditioning um, and then again this imitation of wood which is not so beautiful in my opinion yeah but overall the interior is not bad uh, let me also uh, show it from the other side Okay, so now from the other side and also what I wanted to show you is uh, the steering wheel and uh, all those details here. Let me just refocus again into the interior. So not bad. You can also see the uh, gas and brake uh, in nice colors. Again, uh, the seat controls and yeah, overall I think the interior is very nice. 
nicely done with all the details i only don't don't like the combination of colors uh for me uh white interior white leather or everything dark would be much nicer and i don't like so much this wooden decoration here uh that's terrible it looks like they killed some animals and skinned them just to make this decoration yeah i, I don't like it it doesn't look like wood even it, if it should be wood okay another thing that i wanted to show you is of course uh what is in the trunk so let me open it uh, here again thick parts and inside uh, there is just this carpeting and it's very nice to touch it it's very very soft and also what I like here or maybe don't like so much but this should be rubber yeah so uh, this rubber is there to protect the space and also to avoid any water uh, going inside so i don't know this could be a little bit better this is just plastic maybe it could be uh rubber yeah this part but then uh, again this reflective part this is nice nicely done so basically i have no big objections here uh, but it's not ah look here it's another small dot so definitely this paint or exterior will not get 10 out of 10 points in my review um, because there are so many imperfections only tiny but still it counts somehow eh? so when I close it look here another very small dot can you see it and then there are some small bumps here <laughs> maybe that's the reason why this car was discounted because you know with so many imperfections for somebody maybe it's very small and you wouldn't even recognize because when you see it like from this distance and this is how you usually see the car yeah when it's on display you don't see it like from here can you see any imperfection no it's perfect oh my god that's beautiful but sometimes i also have a closer look like this one. Oh my god look at that this is terrible and then i'm frustrated you know and when i then you pay a lot of money and i'm <laughs> i'm happy that i didn't pay that much for this this one then you are really frustrated because you expect a perfect model and this gear show could be perfect but maybe this piece just uh, didn't when didn't go through the quality control like uh, all the others did and maybe that's the reason why this one is discounted I'm not sure because maybe somebody opened this one and saw it maybe the the retailer uh, saw it and then they put it on discount or maybe not I don't know what is your opinion type it into the comments okay and now i think it's only time for the final rating